Hey, Kevin. This is, like, so awesome. I'm going to be honest with you. I only made the movie so I could come do this. Well, this is working out great, It then. really is. When the publicist was like, what do you want out of the movie? I was like, I want to go on Seth Meyers. He's like, why? <laughs> I said, I'm a huge fangirl. I watch this show every damn morning when I wake up, but it's so weird to be, like, looking at you because <laughs> normally... I wake and bake and watch the show. Oh, gotcha. So it's so strange to be looking at you not high. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I love the show so much, dude. I, I, like, I'm so dumb and, and don't know what to think in life. So I love a closer look. You tell me what to think and stuff. <laughs> well, um, you should I think love, on your own. No, nah, there's okay. no need for that. Okay. Um, I love, I, and all that night long since I've been here, I keep running into people where I'm like, you're famous. You're, I saw Karen before she went on. I was yeah. like, oh, my God. Like, I keep, the guy who, put, who brought me back here, the stage manager, he's like, you go on in five. I'm like, I've seen you on TV. He goes, yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> it's, it's so awesome for me, man. I love the show. I'm a big fan. I love Amber Says What. You know what I love? I love the dude that's just like, uh, leave him alone. Oh, I love yeah, that yeah. guy. John Lutz, yeah. You guys, I love Popsicle Stick. <laughs> stick. I love, um, there's a bit you did, and you only did it once, and I wish you'd do it again. Where you were like the conservative point of view and the liberal point of view, okay, but it was yeah. all about giant order, openings. Yeah, we can order all this. Oh up. my God, I, that's what I'm here to request things. I'll but in it. any event, can I tell you, like any fan, you know, it's like I love everything you do, but like there's one thing I don't like and stuff. Like for me, people are like, I love everything you do, but except everything after Clerks. So like, um, <laughs> so the one thing you do I don't agree with is when you do day drinking. I'm okay. like, I'm like, that's not my Seth. I don't like when you do that. Gotcha. That's not I, like that's not New Hampshire, son. No, like no, you don't no, do that right. sort yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah. I always wish that you were stoning instead. And so since I watch, <laughs> since I watch the show like all the time, I was like, I'm a big fan. This is, I had this idea, and you got to bear with me. So okay. I, I make my own weed, right? You do. Yes. Congratulations. This is, this is called Snoogans. Okay. Um, I'm not saying because I know it ain't like legal in New York. I'm not saying like smoke it. Can we just put it in the mug? Yeah. Like with the pencils. So that every time I watch the show, it's always there. Um, it's um... no, you can't say no. But if you want okay. to say no, here, I scripted <laughs> something for you to say no with. This is good. this might not work. I was so blazed when I wrote this. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite things that you do on the show, and you don't do it very regularly, is every once in a while you do like a distinguished Southern gentleman accent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wrote a script for you to do that with me right here. Okay, great. And I'm hoping to turn it into my ringtone. Okay, great. Um, Okay, great. So let me just set it up. It okay. says, interior late night studio night. Kevin gives Seth a joint okay. that he requests live permanently in Seth's death, desk collection. Seth, unwilling to insult the guest by denying the request, stalls by inexplicably slipping into his southern gentleman impression. Okay. What a thoughtful and yet somehow simultaneously self-serving gesture. My new northern friend, I find myself much obliged to you for so generously affording my humble house this stickiest of icky. <laughs> oh, I'm in heaven! <laughs> shut up, shut up, there's so much more. There's so Go. much more, there's a bunch more. You have a line now. Yeah, yeah. Here's my line. Uh, then you'll keep it on your desk in the mug with all the pencils so that when I watch the show from now on, I'll always feel like I'm a little part of it. It breaks my heart to have to decline your herbal offer, good sir. <laughs> but the minute my writers got wind that this sweet green essence of life was just a sitting in a cup on my desk, that juiciest of jizz oints wouldn't last a Mason Dixon minute, no, instead. <laughs> Instead, we shall remedy this situation with a post-show smoke session back in my home with my wife and my tiny children. <laughs> with great Southern pride, I do declare us friends forever, sir. And see! Oh, really nice. Very well written. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I don't know if this is worth anything, but now you can go on the IMDb and list I've been directed by Kevin Smith. Right, right. Yeah, um, right. uh, I do want to, uh, while I've enjoyed all this time talking about me, um, uh, this film, uh, you're retur returning to these characters. You've yeah. been doing it for a very long time. This uh, film is making fun of the idea of reboots. Yeah, it should yeah. Be noted. it's a movie that makes fun of sequels and remakes and reboots by being all three at the same time. And you're taking it, uh, you're going on the road with it, you're watching it with audiences. I do. I, is that enjoyable? A, oh, I love it so much. We've been on tour since October 19th. We got like 65 dates. I'm on uh, City 50, no, 42 right now, um, show 70. And I've watched every one. I sit there with the audience every night, 1,500 people, and watch it. I sit behind them in the back, stare at the back of their heads like a dirty little cuck. And I'm just... <laughs> 
waiting for their heads to bob, because if they do, I'm like, I'm funny, I'm clever, and I feel good and stuff. So people have asked me, they're like, how many shows have you sat through? I'm like, every one. I sit there and watch it with the audience every night. They're like, how much do you hate this movie by now? I'm like, I don't, because like, it's going, to, going to that movie every night on tour is akin to going to church where I'm both the priest and Jesus himself. Yeah. Um, so it's really re like a religious experience. The fans go nuts, like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. People are screaming at the screen so much so I didn't realize that would happen. We, first night of the tour was in New Jersey. We opened in Asbury Park. And so, yes. And so when we were there, I had no idea. I wrote it to be funny, I hope, but like it became interactive. Like uh, Brian O'Halloran plays Dante and Clerks. He's the first character you see on screen. When he popped in, the audience went nuts. They're like, wow. And I was like, that's amazing. And then I was like, you know what? It's New Jersey. They better treat him like this because all they got is Springsteen and this guy. <laughs> so like, so, but then it kept playing really well. So we went to Chicago the next night and Chicago blew the doors off. It was even louder than New Jersey. So much so that I was like, forget New Jersey, man. <laughs> they don't understand a profit from their own midst. So I go every night, I see the show, but I started shooting the audience and the, and the movie so I could clip it out, text it to people who aren't there to, to get to see it. Like my wife was in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. She pops up for a minute in Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. When she does, the audience goes nuts. And I shot it and sent it to her. I was like, can you believe they even remember you? <laughs> like, it was amazing. And she wrote back, F you, Kevin. <laughs> but uh, my favorite one, hands down, was Ben Affleck's in the movie. When he pops up, audience reacts like Batman swung in to save the day or something like that. So I shot that. The big reaction in Chicago was huge. And I texted it to Ben. I was like, this is what they think of you in Chicago, Batman. And he wrote back a two-word response. I know. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> uh, well, it is just a delight. Uh, for people who are fans of the franchise. And what a pleasure having you here, Kevin. I love I being cannot... here, man. This is huge. Thank you enough. Please come back again. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Kevin Smith, everybody.